This is Beat Down Boulevard on the west side, west side rim of the deep. And we are here, we the Cold Brothers. And I think you know us. If you don't know us, you probably ain't had your last one properly. But we, we're so funny. Telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I don't think those as they probably would, would find that amusing. But anyway, we're going to get down to business. Now, first thing you need to understand, we are professional wrestlers. We ain't bad boys talking about, dude, did you know that nickel you did you give you eating up? We got experience, mad experience, you name them, we met them. We probably hate them, but we definitely met them. So, uh, we want to start this off, or you want further introduction? As my brother said, we are the Cole Brothers. This is Stone, I'm Ice. I was Stone when Steve Austin was still the ringmaster. Know that shit. Let us tell you, we've been around many a many a years. A lot of you guys, again, like you said, if you don't know us, you will know us. What's up? See, we've been in the WWE, rubbing shoulders with guys like The Undertaker, Big Show, Kane. Had lunch with McMahon and Undertaker. Yeah, and Undertaker. You. Umanga, Bobby Lashley, you name it, we done met him, we done talked to him, we been next to him, worked out with him. See, the one thing that pisses us off about professional wrestling today it ain't what it used to be. It ain't wrestling. See, gone are the days when you had guys like the Original Heart Foundation. Gone are the days when you had the Killer Bees, B. Brian Blair, and uh, Jumpin' Jim Renzel. Gone are the days when you had the Road Warriors. Oh, Russia. And even our favorite, Doom. Yeah, oh, yeah. See, nowadays you got uh, guys like. Um, uh, and. and um, my, my name and, is um, uh, John Cena, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't remember my lines very well, and, and, and I have to come out and look down at the, the floor, because... Oh, the game! <laughs> I'm the game! I, I am the game! I'm the game! And I make stinky faces, uh, like I got to make a dick dump! Uh, and and, and uh, I'm only in the WWE, because I slept with the boss's daughter! Uh, Hey. Yeah, that's his wife. Uh, no offense, Stephanie. You no better offense. keep that on lock. No offense, Stephanie. We love you to death. I mean, you are a girl. Every time we see you, you know, we kick it. But Triple H totally sucks. I'm the gay. And listening to your hey, interviews hey. is like watching paint dry. Hey, 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 hey. Did you know that Candace Michelle is knocked up? Candace Michelle? Yeah, who knocked up? I don't know, but you know what, though? Candace Michelle is pretty. But you, you remember when we saw her? She was like this tall. Hey, about this tall. No ass. About this. And That's you, you, everybody in Playboy went nuts over her. And I remember when we went, we were at, where were we at? Philadelphia? Yeah, so Bear, we, Bear. Bear. we walked in and we remember seeing this little petite, tiny girl, no bigger than this, walk past us and everybody, oh, that's Candace Michelle. Huh? Hey, 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 I, I say this much, it ain't ours because we rolled up and said no. no, no, no. <laughs> hey, well, you know, everybody in management has been up in there, so. Maury yeah, Povich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maury Povich. Hey man, hey, now nah, what you think of Chris Jericho calling people hygiene and homosexuals? Well, you know what? This is the one thing that ticks me off. See, as black people, we get called niggas all the time. Now, where do the fags come off talking about they got rights? Hey, 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 hey. Now, they ain't fags. They queerosexuals. That's what they call them, that right? Well, you queer know what? But, but what I don't understand is, so what Chris Jericho said what he had to say? So what? Stop all this sensitive and, okay, let me hold your hand to the restroom and, oh, whatever. I would call them a America fag. America ain't America if you can't call a fag a fag. Exactly. But you, you see how you push that little Asian girl down? Oh, you, you know what? Look, look, let me tell you something. If that was us and the fan would have walked up to us and spit in our face, man, how many ass would have been? Well, how many ass would have been? What? what? This is going out on public, right? We can't talk about this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, but no, yeah, yeah, no. there might have been some situations in which the Cole brothers were physically assaulted by fans that resulted in fans going to the hospital to get stitches. There might have been. I ain't naming no names. Ain't naming no names. Let me tell you something, little Asian girl. If you ever watching this, let me tell you, if it would have been us, your ass would have been whooped. Your boyfriend's what he got. Whooped. Yeah, so he, he got you got a, he and, owe you and, ass whooped. And arena security, who was just standing around watching, Taping it on their phones, they would have definitely got wood. Hey, I got another one. What you think of Dope Man, Jeff Hardy? Oh, oh man, man, that's America's man. number one Dope Man. Oh, oh yeah. One, you okay. know what? One thing you guys don't understand is all that steroids, HGH, Coke, pills, what's some of them? Ecstasy, whatever. Yeah. You know what? 
Let me tell you, some of the biggest dope men, and I know we're gonna get in trouble for saying this, is in the WWE! Oh yeah, this will kill me! See now, you call a brother with four eight balls! Oh, oh, is he a junkie? No! He's a dope man! You catch Crow, what's his name, uh, uh, Benoit? Oh, he had six months of steroids, and uh, he had eight tons of what, pills and all this crap! He wasn't using them, he was selling them! You know what, but we, we Christian wires and people shit, because we know we get chunky wife out. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, and his kid. And his kid. That's yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, but he may be right here, but fuck it. But, but Jeff Hardy, again, this man gets caught with cocaine, uh, all kinds of anabolic steroids, HGH, every damn thing that you want to say. Now, somebody did snitch on him. Somebody did snitch hey, on hey, him. Hey, snitches get riches, man. Not snitches because, hey, you know you get paid for snitching on cats nowadays. Well, yeah, that's true. Ain't mad at shit. But he did have a lot of stuff, and what a lot of people don't understand is that these guys that are in the WWE and Vince claims that there are drug testing bullshit. Don't you believe that? Because when you got guys walking around, look, we stay in the gym. When you got guys constantly traveling on the road five, six days out of the week, and they walking out in front of the fans all swole up and rough. No, dude, you know, you want something, and somebody is in there getting it and selling it within the company. Yeah, but you know what kills me? I can't feel bad for this cat because this old boy with the WWE about what, 16, 17 years? He done made millions? And he constantly get fired because he get caught up on drugs. What you mean to sell dope for? You getting paid. Why don't you go slay some action figures? You're going to make more money that way. So what you think of the Big Show's movie coming up? Yeah, uh, whatever. You see, WWE, they taking a step because you know Big Show, he, he cool. He was cool with us. I like him. You know, he ain't no buster like John Cena. You know, I, I ain't got nothing against Ted DiBiase, but they set him up with a bullshit movie. So, you know, that direct the video stuff, maybe maybe it'll fly. Yeah. But uh, what do you think about Dennis Miller hosting the slam? Well, I ain't hosting the slam, so fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> hey, Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff signing with TNA. Man, motherfuckers kill me with it. He got to kill the business. He gonna kill the business. Hulk Hogan ain't nothing but cash money for the business. Check it out. Bischoff was the one that fucked up in uh, T, uh, what's the name, WCW, about to say NWA. Bischoff fucked that up. He's the one signing cats who ain't shit to million dollar contracts, half million dollar downside contracts. He signed them off to AOL Time Warner instead of under, under uh, WCW, jacking off all this loot. Hogan ain't nothing but money. So my man in the TNA, they talking about it's gonna kill the business. First, the business is dying. Why? Because the UFC is kicking wrestling's ass. Because shit, Hulk. I'm gonna, yeah, it's fake. You damn right it's fake. I'm gonna say on straight up. Because um, when Vince McMahon decided to do, uh, what was that uh, he did on MTV? What was that shit called? What was that bullshit he did with the little thing? Uh, or whatever that shit with the little teeny boppers where everybody running around trying to get on wrestling. He exposed the business for what it is. Yeah, top it up. Yeah, that bullshit. Well, when he did that, he exposed the business. So flat out. Fact of the matter is, people, they wanna go spend their hard earned money. Nowadays, they want to see some shit real, so they have eliminated the entertainment factor. The problem with this bullshit is you got motherfuckers running around like John Cena, old locker room snitch ass bitch made motherfucker. But, you know, this cat, oh yeah, I'm entertaining. No, you're not. I wouldn't pay five fucking cents to see John Cena. Yeah, John Cena and, and what's that clown? Oh, I am the Miz, and I'm totally lame. Man, give me a damn break. Yeah, I want to know, Miz. Who you bending, bending over, touching your toes for back in WCW or excuse me, WWE management? I want to know because you know, one of the things well, we need to sit back and say, and we're going to be totally real on this, is that you see a lot of guys stay in the WWE for a long time and all they do is travel their punk asses around, eat at the buffet, eat at the buffet, and they might go out in front of the fans and do a job. And do a job, but they're making these high five figure, low six figure salaries. Because, you know why? Because either they kissing somebody's ass in management. Doing they, dope with the right people. Doing dope with the right people. Bending over, touching their toes and taking it in the behind from one of the management. Or they just, you know, basically sleeping with this man. Or they little ways with them. But, you know, the, the, the thing that messes me up is, like, they just had their pay-per-view. See, I'm not, I, I ain't gonna do this bad boy stuff. Oh my God, it's so awesome. I'm gonna tell you something about that pay-per-view. Triple H, a whole ass bastard, because he just decided, off rip, to come out, shoot on these cats, get them yanked off the show. Now, I don't know about them, but if he suddenly got the Cole Brothers yanked off the show, that's going to be anywhere from a ten dollars to $25,000 piece payoff, y'all wouldn't be seeing Triple H no more. He might be in the bottom of Troy River. I ain't you, Triple H. With my, my wife's 
2000. Was a big bitch. Point blank period. And for all you Triple H fans, we got stories to tell you. To tell you about a lot of these clowns. And then you got a lot of good guys in the WWE. A whole lot of them. A whole lot of them. Batista being one. You know. But understand this. Don't think for five seconds. That, or they're saying this, they wouldn't say it to his face. Triple H wouldn't want us to say it to his face. Mind you that, there's a big difference. This is not the UFC. Okay, everybody, if you want to see the Cole Brothers, come check us out. November 20th at Fitzgerald High School. That's Nine Mile and Ryan. We're wrestling there at 7 o'clock. Tickets are $5. And I don't want to hear no garbage about it. Times are tough. It's only $5. And there's the BCW show November 13th, 730 in the Windsor Armory. BCW is run by Scott Demore. Now you gotta love him, but you gotta hate him, but he put on the side of the show. Peace! Siren!